Right guys, Windows 10 2004 build is here and I'm sure you're anxious to update as soon as possible. My advice and also Microsoft advises that you should not update if you don't know what you're doing. There are a lot of bugs about in this new version, so do wait around. There is a release date on the 18th of August, so your Windows will automatically update to that. And if you do want to update, I'll tell you what is the new changes that you to look forward to. So stick around and I'll guide you through. So we'll go straight into the bugs first and then we'll move on to other steps. And in the end, I'll also show you how to update just in case for the newbies. Right, the major bugs is here look connecting multiple bluetooth devices so if you're connecting more than one bluetooth devices you're going to have issues the drivers and software updating errors there's a lot of errors in this i tried myself you know to do a screen recording and my software would not update i kept getting this error so i had to go through a from the local uh, disk c to uh, enable that so it's a bit difficult if you're not sure what you're doing and also the intel and nvidia gpu both all drivers have issues in updating them or you know running through them so they have an errors and uh, the mouse input with games you're going to have problem with this as well the apps and games are not showing the mouse input so if you are okay with this go ahead and do it and the other errors are here in the windows 10 main website look as you can see there's quite a lot of errors yeah, just for the like it's released only a few days ago and look how many errors are there it's quite a lot this is why microsoft is saying oh, stick around and you know he'll be automatically updated when it's all over and now we're going to move on to the what is to look forward to in the latest update so we'll start off with cortana so if you click here cortana look you can make it bigger if you want short and also let's go on this website you can have the cortana running in the background as well look anywhere you want so you can move it anywhere you want there's no issue the other update to look forward to is the windows update page itself it's as you can see here are just active hours to reduce disruptions basically when you turn this on your busy period as you can see my one is almost all day because i leave my computer on even when i was doing other things but if you're on say let's say your one is two till four or two till six then what will happen is if you turn this on microsoft will not update or do any of their changes while you know your busy period is on so it kind of reduces the pressure on the computer so you can do other things and not be disrupted with the windows update and now if you type in the search bar sign in you know sign as you can see look i've typed it and go into this one where it says sign in option click on this one and here you'll be introduced to the new hello feature for the windows sign in you can sign in through your face recognition if you have a webcam you can sign in through the fingerprints the hello pin and there's lots of other options you know so and the other major change in here as you can see where it says restart apps here if you tick on click on then what happens is if you restart your computer any apps you have running let's say you have a something important running in the browser and all of a sudden you had to restart due to microsoft update or anything else what will happen is those apps will automatically load and now the feature that i really really like if you type reset in the search bar here r-e-s-e-t reset and click on the reset this pc this is one of the best features that i really like so what you can do here now is main thing is like i said the bugs so if you do come across any bugs let's go to this one first if you do come across any bugs you can click on this one get started and go back to the previous 1903 version very easily and this one here this is the one that i really like the recovery part so if you click on this one get started uh, you know this should open up keep my files all your files will be kept on the cloud storage so you can easily get it back and here where it says remove everything let's click on this one see what happens when you click on the remove everything and as you can see cloud download so click on this one what will happen is the windows will automatically download from the cloud storage so you don't have to go to microsoft or any website to download a window now the other feature is something that i don't have here you'll get an option saying bluetooth devices say if you got a bluetooth mouse or bluetooth keyboard you'll automatically get a notification here to enable them now i don't have them ones but you'll be able to do it from here and now the next feature is what i've done a video on as well previously on how to use multiple desktops so this is very good not only can you use the multiple desktop but you can also rename them now so all you do for that is click on task view and then click on new desktop and if you want to rename just right click and rename rename it to anything you want let's just call this 88 and just let it go 
So we're going to go into task view and you can see the 88 there. And the other easy change is the Windows startup. Uh, basically, when you restart the Windows, all the startup programs that starts up with it kind of slows your computer down. So all you do for that is go to settings and in settings, you just choose the apps. And in this one, you choose the startup, as you can see there. And just turn on or turn off anything you don't want the windows to start up as soon as you restart the computer because that kind of slows your computer down so those were all the features that i wanted to show you right now there's more but this is what i've noticed and also the bugs that you know that are there on the windows 10. if you still want to update like i said it's your choice and i'll show you how to update now so for those who are not sure how to update or who are struggling to find so stick around and i'll show you that tip so before i take you to the website i want you to do this here yeah, type in windows update so just type in Windows update and check for updates. This is very important. Yeah, this is very important. This is for those, you know, like you're going to be struggling with the NVIDIA or Intel graphic drivers and that. So this is the first thing you do. Check for updates. If you do have any old drivers that are not updated, I recommend you do this first before, you know, updating to the Windows. Very important. Now, if you have any updates here, all they'll ask you, you know, to update one by one or update all in one. This is very important before you even update because you don't want to have any of those issues with the drivers. Uh, see, as you can see, look, this is one of the Defender virus that I have. Let this do this in the background. I'll show you how to update now because this is not really major. Everything else is uh, done because I've already have the latest version. So what you do for that is just go into the google and type windows 10 download the first word option that you have download windows 10 disk image click on this one and when you click on that you should get into this page here download windows 10 and the version we need is the windows 10 may 2020 update all you do is click on update now i've already have it so i don't need to do it but what you need to do is click update now and then click save and run as normal and that should update your windows 10 restart the computer that's it you have the latest windows 10 may 2020 update i do have a bit of issue as you can see unresponsive pages because i have a lot of things opening so i'm just gonna close this one anyways this was the exquisite info doing tutorial for you guys on whether you should install windows 10 to the 2004 version or not like i said in the beginning i highly recommend you do not do it unless you know what you're doing but if you want to try it out go ahead and do it i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i look forward to seeing you again guys don't forget to click thumbs up and Subscribe to our channel. Goodbye for now.